Hi guys, Sun Manani. Welcome to my channel. My name is Angel Mazibugo, and yes, I feel like I want to give this series, like this baby part of my channel, a name. Like I don't know, I don't know what to say it is, or give it the name of the baby, or angas, angas. But <laughs> today I'm going to be talking about my first prenatal visit at a public clinic. Mm -hmm. yes yes and I think I'll do a part two where I went to a doctor and got a baby scan um, which was very exciting but yes part one I'll talk about um, the, the, the the clinic and the prenatal visit and how that went down but I do hope you enjoy um, if you've ever done this before please please comment on your experience and like how it went down did you enjoy it um, yeah, we all know the public system, but um, yeah, I just I just want to know like in, in interact with how was it for you? I've watched a few videos of other people's experiences and some are good, some are bad, but I feel like it's um it's a doable thing, man. I mean, if you get your head out of it, if you, if you get out of your head, but you know what I'm saying, like don't think about it too much, just do it. Yeah, I think that's that's it's fine, it's fine. But yes, do enjoy my story. So officially this is the second video in um, me talking about having a baby and uh, in the first one I did explain why Ukel is even doing Lendoyama public system. So um, <laughs> when I found out that I'm pregnant I didn't have medical aid and uh, me and my man we tried to see it's only medical aid only to find out so you can't get medical aid once you are pregnant because it's called a pre-existing condition. I don't know if condition what is the right word. Why baby that is condition? It feels like gakula, you know? <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's what they call it. And then um yeah, we left the only option we left with is to do the public route and yeah, that's why we're doing this and I just want you to see because come back and because now angas angas now. So me and my man had found out um about the pregnancy. We took a test. Um it was March. Yeah, we took one in February, but there was a faint line. And then we took one in March, which like uh, confirmed. It was a clear blue one. It confirmed in Gambela. Then um, we went to the doctors, and the, the doctor was like, oh, okay, because you've already taken the test, um, just uh, and you don't have medical aid, just wait out um, some time and then go to the clinic so that you're not going like very, very early to the clinic. But do take... Um, some prenatal vitamins and i'm taking pregomega plus um yeah i'll just i'll show you like what it looks like if you don't know and apparently that's one of the most trusted uh brands by like doctors and stuff so i was like hey why not and when i actually talk to other pregnant women and women who have had babies like recently they all attest to what's in J. pregomega plus is the one so that's what i'm taking right so we wait out to get some time and then we decide it was okay let's go to the clinic now it was april can i confirm april 21 and we went to so uh we're in peter Maritzburg, right so we went to the clinic it was um in the scottsville area hi before it's so because we know we'll see they usually have um it, it doesn't really get full that clinic so we like we prefer to go to that one right now we are living um in bali but why we even thought about that one is because we were living in scottsville before right so it's how they can go one um and we get there i think it was about 20 past one and yeah it's cooled down you know there's not so many people I get so we wait we go through the lines and everything and then when so the, the thing is they don't take any of your information in the front desk if you've come for a prenatal visit so but see yeah so if you've come for the first time yeah they don't take anything of yours because apparently they need to create this book for you um a maternity case record book so they need to create that for you so you don't do anything in the front desk you don't bring a, a, a card um or anything i eventually it's my turn and then when i get in with the nurse lady she's like and i'm like yeah it's the first time 
Then she's like, oh, okay, no, no, we don't start. You need to come here early in the morning. And then I was like, mm, no, no, no. You have to go somewhere corner in So you clinic in So you can't come here. And even the time now it's late. So I'm like, it's late. Like, why didn't though anyone tell me at any point of me getting there, actually sitting in the line? Because it's not like I wasn't talking to anybody. <laughs> but nobody said anything. Even the people at the front desk didn't say anything. But I was like, I said, it's fine. But at the time it wasn't fine i got so mad and <laughs> i got so mad i even took this clip i'm upset tell them why i'm upset i don't know you're hungry yes, uh, oh, no. yes, uh, but you, you were the one you should tell them because i was in the car i, I have a fresh new car i can't be upset wow, yes, uh, baby. Oh, hey, i'm upset because I thought this was going to be our first clinic visit and we're going to come back and know how many months we are as in jail. Wow. Okay, yes, I was expecting sucky service, of course, but like I didn't expect no service at all. You just sat there for nothing. Okay, so you said I'm going to you because I'm so good. Okay, today we went to the clinic, guys. I'm pretty sure I would have introduced this somewhere, but let me just get into the story. I'm going to get right? And then we get inside and then she's like, and I'm like, yeah, you go to Kala. And then she's like, oh no, um, I'm scanning a bunch of at this time. And I'm like, oh, nobody said that. And then she's like, yeah, no, we don't do, we don't do first time at this time. So you have to come early in the morning. And when you come early in the morning, you need to make sure you're one of the first three people because we only take three newcomers in the morning only and i'm like oh why is that she's like no because some people return so there's just going to be too much going on so we'd rather just take three first timers and then everybody else that's coming back and then she asked where i live and she's like yeah go to the clinic there and i'm like but like i just moved to that area and i'm gonna move away from the area soon so I, it just made more sense to come here and she's like no go there and then even there you have to go in the morning because they probably have a system like that and like and then that's, and then she's walking out the door like well behind me so like she's like kind of pushing me out the door and i'm like just turn it on yeah so i'm upset i'm upset i am upset i'm mad so disappointed so so disappointed but yeah i was hoping to get back to jay right now like i know exactly what's going on so we can also plan our lives we're trying to plan our lives around this yeah. and we now we're frozen in time again so yeah i don't know any double good send you over and bullying us a clinic go by and it's cut okay thank you babe. yeah so that's how i was feeling and yeah it was it, it, I should have known Gautanam, and that's what Ususugan kept telling me. But you should have known, Uzi, whatever outcome is gonna like, whatever's gonna happen today, the outcome is not gonna be like great, very, yeah, boy. So I was like, okay, it's fine. So we drove around um, Lion Bali to find Uzi, where do we go? So there's a, a, a big, um, a big hospital here, and we thought, Uzi, maybe we should go there, only to find that there's another smaller clinic closer to where we live, um, and that's where we should go. So cool. Um, we find out that we need to get there around six in the morning because they it's like long lines but they only take a few people yeah it's like some weird rules <laughs> but yeah we found out six in the morning we need to get there and yeah I think that yeah that was all just just get there early and expect to wait a long time that's all cool so now like i just oh and it has to be during the week if it's not weekends right so now it's like in my mind i'm like i need to cool off from this whole experience i need to shake it off you know because i don't want to get there like mad or, or already like frowning and stuff because i want to give off good energy so that i get good energy back right so we're like maybe let's see like next week or something <laughs> yeah so Cool. then we go to the doctor but that'll be in part two um yeah i'll we'll talk about that in part two so then um we go again it was on a friday morning on the date let me check 
the 6th of May and we got up at 6 and um, well we got up at like half 5 so that we can get there at 6 um, and it's not very far so it's like, like 5 past 8 past 6 we were already there and when we get there there was a line of people <laughs> anyway there was already a line of people and then like one thing i can tell you is you need to ask you need to communicate and you you need to speak up you know don't be sassy footy about it like just honestly just speak ask questions because if we didn't ask we wouldn't know we would see um there's different lines for different things and if you're a first time um a prenatal visitor you need to stand in a certain place <sighs> right so we get there um, it's early in the morning it's like really really dark and um, we asked a lady that was like in the front of the line she seemed to know everything you know like she was talking to other people very so we asked with the line cool um, hi we're here to do this we're not sure what's going on and then she explains it's okay um, because it's your first time you're gonna stand by the gates and yeah once they get here they'll take you to where you're supposed to go and then that's where they'll explain everything cool 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 oh. <laughs> now here's another thing Tutuani can't go in with me and it's i don't think it's a COVID rule i think it's like a thing Ginga maybe it is a COVID thing um but i mean right now we're like basically at the end of the COVID thing and still namaji he's not allowed to come in with me and i'm i'm in uh, second trimester now so i don't know anyway yeah so um the the the, the clinic eventually they open the gates at around half seven like yeah so then half seven we go inside with all the pregnant ladies and ladies with babies and then um yeah we get into this other room i don't know how to explain it it's this other room and then when you get there they separate the mo the mothers with babies and the pregnant ladies so now the ladies um that are pregnant um, we do our own thing and then the other ladies do their own thing as well. So I Okay, I'm talking to the girls okay, now, but what's it, What are their experiences? Yeah, well, I'm very curious. I'm very chatty. So whenever I see someone who's pregnant, I've got so many questions <laughs> Yeah, so I'm just having like um, a chat with the girls <laughs> So you come, man. No, Oh yeah, we stress. Eh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then okay, comes the time for me to begin. So they ask, Guti, is it your first time?" And you need to say, "Guti, it's your first time," because if you don't explain that it's your first time, you probably will go back home and not have anything done because there's a, a specific procedure that they take. So. Then um, they give you a cup and you need to go pee in the cup. So basically what they're doing is they're giving um, a, a, a pregnancy test. And then I don't know what the other... Yeah, well, sometimes they, don't, they really don't say anything if you don't ask. And then once they've started, go busy. Yeah, well, because now they want to do everything at the same time. So they do all the peeing tests at once all the um weighing tests at once yeah well so yeah it gets very very hectic but what i do know is they they were doing a pregnancy test and then there's i don't know another another little stick thing that they do right so i go in and i pee and then i sit down and then now i don't have a book yet right so they tell me i need to go um up into another room where i'm gonna have my hiv test done and also get a book the maternity case record right so then i walk all the way up and i um get to this lady who um yeah takes my bloods and then she does the hiv test and she was also very chatty she was nice um yeah she explained that it's important to have an hiv test done because you need to take certain pills if you do have hiv yeah a whole lot of stuff like that like i feel like just talk you know they are people just talk 
yeah so after the um, HIV test and I get my book um, they ask uh, for me to go weigh myself so they have a scale and um, weighed myself on the scale and they write it down in the book and then um, they take the book back down to where the other pregnant ladies are so then I also have to go back there right once I get there um, there's now certain injections that I need to go get and I will not lie I do not remember I did ask but now I don't remember <laughs> what it was exactly that I was getting injected for but yeah got the injection I'll try to find it and then I'll, I'll, I'll write it down got the injection and after getting the injection now load shedding okay, in South Africa I didn't get my BP done and I feel like is it not like hmm is it not dangerous as a pregnant person to not have your BP checked but I mean here's the thing now we live in South Africa where there's load shedding at any time and then it's especially worse gay Emma Lokshin I don't know maybe if, if you can comment and tell me if you live in Lokshin you would say are load shedding schedules regular like are they actually regular because if you don't have the the app the um, Eskom Banban Ban app I'll, yeah, I'll put that down if you don't have the app it you have no idea when it's gonna leave and sometimes even the app doesn't um, tell that doesn't it doesn't coincide with what the app says sometimes but yeah anyway didn't have my BP done but um, I went in with this other lady who also took some more bloods and uh, what was it there's a test though that needs to come out positive for it to be good yeah guys there's a lot that happens so yeah get that test done and um oh yeah then i also needed to go um have phlegm taken right so because they need to check we'll see do you have tb um any chronic illness actually i think that that's what they're testing for so i needed to go get try to put spit phlegm into like a little cup thing yeah <laughs> So I'm supposed to uh, do, like put some phlegm in this thing. Do I have phlegm? I'm supposed to do a breathing exercise if I can't, if I don't have any phlegm. And I'm in this little, they call it a building, it's not a building. It's like a, um, a bus stop where I'm supposed to do this. So here goes. <laughs> yeah, and then once that was done, um, yeah then they wrote everything that they needed to in the maternity case record and then um yeah they gave me the book and that was it i think it was around 11. yeah it was around 11 and then i was done with everything 11 o'clock and i'm done i'm done i'll uh, explain later but it was okay it was okay it was fine it was fine <laughs> I'm done. I'm hurting a little though because I got an injection, but everything is fine. Everything is absolutely fine. And that was going to be like my longest, um, my longest prenatal visit. I've got pregnancy brain. I forget. Anyway, um, yeah, that was going to be my longest prenatal visit um, because they were starting everything from scratch. So yeah, after that, I went home with a book. So here is the book i think i would have shown it in a video as well by now but yeah here's the book i keep it in this um thing i think i should actually get a plastic cover like a proper plastic cover for it um yeah some 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 other people's books look i'm not judging okay i'm not judging <laughs> and yeah that was my first visit and like i said it didn't go bad and being all I mean I I wanted to give good energy so that I get good energy back um, yeah I think maybe that's that's an, uh, the advice because I, I don't know what else maybe if you have a bad experience at a visit maybe it's because just that that one person was having a bad day you know what I mean but I think it's good I think even for baby I want to have like good energy because <laughs> I don't want to be stressed I don't want to be thinking about you know bad things I don't want to yeah, I don't want any negative energy though around me. But yeah, that was my first visit and it went very well. Visits after that have been, they've been fine. They've been much like shorter, obviously, because now I don't have to do like all the other steps and I haven't gotten an injection since then. And I've had like three, 
other visits two other sorry visits um yeah but yeah more good more good um they didn't tell me though how far i am or how far i was at the time in my pregnancy so if you were looking for that that they're, they're not gonna give that to you if you're like if you're not showing it so they do this thing where oh yes yes i missed this out they do this thing where you have to lie down on a bed and then they push on your tummy okay there's a name for it though you lie down on the bed and then they push down on your tummy to kind of feel where about um the baby has grown up to so i think it's where your uterus has gone up to so from the base of your pelvis up until certain points there are measurements that say um how far your pregnancy is and yeah so she did that and she didn't say much um oh yeah they also check your your coochie they also check your coochie um i think your coochie should be a certain color and there shouldn't be any kind of discharge um down there because that means there's certain things that you need to take meds for and yeah but yeah i was um all in the clear so they didn't say much they were just like no we're just checking your the color of your coochie and if there's any discharge but you look fine and yeah that's it they didn't tell me how far i was which wasn't that big of a problem because as i will be going into part two i already knew how far i was <laughs> so it didn't even occur to me at the time to ask we would see what's going on but yeah that was my first prenatal visit and yeah it went okay it went okay um please let me know Wuti, where now how did yours go um do you even remember like because these things can happen in a blur but yeah do you remember we'll see um how did it go and yeah man thank you for watching up until this point part two is coming and that will be my doctor's visit and that was that that that, that was i love that i love that because i got to meet my little person but anyway thank you so much i'll see you in the next video